When she was a kid, Luna aspired to be a superhero. Not the ones in skin-tight suits that could fly, but the ones that identified connections where others didn't. She wanted X-ray vision to observe criminals when they tried to hide from the law, and supersonic hearing to listen in on mischievous talks, then a measure of heightened strength to restrain the guys bigger than her. This was all she craved when she was a child. As she became older, her ambitions took a more realistic approach, which seemed in direct opposition to the surreal tone the news took. The facts became the new dystopian fiction. The world grew louder each year, apparently more violent or more visible than the year before. Her generation grew up looking to cull the increasingly violent trends that saw mass incarcerations, drug wars, and serial killers studying to gain notoriety. Luna took the analytical route in her quest for justice, feeling more at home processing case files, evidence, and connecting dots. Her cousin, a sister almost, enrolled in the academy and became an officer of the law. Even extended family, no matter how far away, seemed to gravitate towards law enforcement, almost as if it were in their blood. A murderer becomes a serial killer with just two more kills, a co-worker informed her over scones and coffee one morning. This one had three total that day, but that number hit double digits soon enough, accumulating corpses of officers, criminal lawyers, and several field investigators to a growing pile of victims. The news on TV, becoming more unreal as the years ticked on by, ran the Blue Blood Killer story 24-7. Luna knew about the local serial killer, more so than most thanks to all the overtime spent processing corroborative evidence for their many crimes. However, it still felt more like gossip and fabricated plot points. At least, until that phone call made something so artificial an actuality. The call came in the middle of the night, as unexpected as a bullet in the dark. Her cousin, the exemplar of a police officer, had been killed. It was just the tragically common traffic stop gone wrong, or armed robber with a weighted pistol. Maybe Luna could have mourned and pushed on, but it wasn't any run-of-the-mill incident that was so characteristic of headlines. No. It wasn't that because life had long turned into a phantasmagoric nightmare. Officer Sarah Youngman, revered by all that mattered, died at the hands of the Blue Blood Killer. Who he was, or who they were, remained an enigma despite their murder spree eroding through states, counties, and homes. But more than the long list of confirmed victims and possible connections Luna herself had registered and slept away, this monster killed Sarah. Somehow, that turned the boogeyman into a living, breathing threat. No longer was this tyrant a thing she filed at the end of the day. It wasn't an obsession of the media. He was here. And if not in the literal sense, then definitely in her mind. This realization gnawed at her for months after the real morning faded. Luna's acceptance stage barely registered before she fell swiftly to anger once again. And it never genuinely went away. Luna craved a name. She wanted to know who killed the sweetest woman in the world, despite so-called dirty... Alright. We get it. This is revenge. Don't like jump scares. Turn them off in the options menu. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. That takes away from the experience, low key. I ain't gonna do it. Night one. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Now be quiet. You leaving all the click? You leaving all the uh? Oh, that's bathroom again. I be forgetting. Yeah, I know. I know the layout for the most part. You feel me? You know what I'm saying. Click, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna open this real quick. Uh-huh. Internet is working. We're gonna open the door. Mm-hmm. Open the door. Cause we got click, you know what I'm saying? Let's 
the breaker. I still don't understand if the lights and stuff is going out. That's bathroom. I'm pretty sure that's bathroom. Yeah, that's bathroom. But how if nobody... And then if she's... Click. If she's had this issue where people would come in... Am I nervous? Yes. But um, if she's had this issue to where people would come in or like be messed with her at the click at the house why are you leaving all your windows open click make sure i wasn't able to lock this before it was a all right bet <laughs> back at it again click you know what i'm saying oh yeah i need to read that email and check out those bolos all right so i'm gonna open it bam we already know lights turn off on their own for some reason why i don't know Bolos, there's a weird doctor running around messing with her, and then Demetrius, the Russian guy that kidnaps people. So this is what we finna do. Bam. Bam. You know what I'm saying? Bigelow. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Hayden Lewis. Mm-hmm. We finna find. Mm, female. That's really all we know, huh? Hair blonde, eye color blue. Hayden Lewis. Hayden Lewis, 89. Oh, uh-huh. Yep. Can I copy this? I didn't mean to get up. I did not mean to get up. So, I'm going to delete it here. I was trying to copy and paste it. All right. Okay, Hayden Lewis, 89. What are we working with? Are you a killer? Okay, looking at your husband, all right. But I am so grateful for your kind words of, of support about my sister. Nothing killer-like. She has babies! Oh, the little girl died. Hmm. Well. No police record. Fair enough. All right. So, I'm going to put the little thing of the little girls in there. Here we are back at it again with the same issue. We in business. We are in business. Yep. 
Yep. All right, hey, we in business. We figured it out. All right, unknown. Let's go. Male. Hair is black. Eyes are brown. Mm-hmm. Height is six feet in between 25 and 30. Oh my goodness. One six two. All right, and narrowed it down a little bit. Did I miss out on anything? Okay, about two hours ago at 8:30 p.m., a group of men started charging down my street. They were all drunk, whooping, hooping, I guess, hooping and, and singing, pushing each other around, tripping each other, and then they started doing some real damage. One of them keyed a random car and jumped around the hood while the others laughed, and one of them in particular threw a big rock. Ugh, damn it. Internet went out again. I need to go reset the router in the backroom closet. Why were my lights off? All right, we strike. We can go here with it, go here with it, go here with it. All right, which one of these dudes look like they be out there going crazy with it? And then I charged outside to confront them and they all just ran away yelling curse words at me. The man who threw the rock in particular made sure to call me out from halfway down the street, the coward. I didn't get a great look at him, but I remember his build and haircut. That is not descriptive at all. I want to press charges and sue him for damages to my house and any trauma my dog has experienced. I mean, she not wrong. She not wrong for it. But... It could be any of them. So what we gonna do, we gonna do this. I'm gonna try from left to right. Ooh. These two. 
All right. Okay. On May 5th at approximately 8.15 p.m. What happened just now? Oh, my boy, Chicken. Yes, sir. I appreciate the host, man. Yes, sir. Hey, everybody he brought over, we ain't gonna let you down. We ain't gonna disappoint, you feel me? And Chicken for the five bits again. Much love. Love to see it, my guy. Love to see it. Love to see it. On May 5th, at approximately 8.15 p.m., Jose Bridges was caught... I keep hearing stuff, yo. My boy Jeff Hefe. Hefe, what's good? It's called snooping around the car of a staff member of Barnabas Bagels and Locks. When approached by security, he tried to take off what seemed to be a GPS tracker from the underside of the vehicle. Oh, and she and he was taking pictures of some female. Alright, now Mr. Matt Walker. Um The game is it, it I mean it's a, it's a game. I shouldn't be playing it, but I mean people love many heart attacks, you know. Yet Yeah, this is a hard game, my guy. So, I'm supposed to be investigating the um the um the death of my sister that was a cop and people were constantly messing with the girl I'm controlling her house and uh yeah I still proceed to do such things so oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute let's pull that other guy back up not here where'd I pull him up at right here did I just click on it oh it says 160 pounds so they round up because if they round it up it could be either of these two my boy Mamba what's good bro what's good with you hey I appreciate you dropping in Jeff you get some rest my guy <laughs> Get some rest, man. Let's see. Now I'm conflicted, man. But he doesn't have a police report. At the same time, what was the thing that we used earlier? No. Uh, this is a horror game, Mamba. I'm supposed to be investigating the the death of my sister while not dying myself. So we're about to see what happens. So I guess he's really not on the list then. Uh, multiple cars race. Oh, so he's racing cars. Bill Gates. Not Bill Gates. What am I saying? What? But this guy, when it's about 12 cars in the immediate area that appear to be lined up. So he's illegal, illegally racing, crossed over the double yellow line onto un incoming traffic. I, at that point, I kind of have to, like, chance it. I'm going to go with him. I'm going to say it was my guy here.
Oh, it's wrong. Oh, my last one was wrong too. Female. Five feet. Oh, I suck at this. My last one was wrong too. Oh my goodness. Brown. Eyes are brown. Female. Weight. What is the weight? 120? I'm the same between 100 and 125. I feel like I keep hearing stuff. And the age is in between 35 and 45. Aha, there's only one that popped up this time. All right, your name is, whoops. Internet went down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's in here, but where? <laughs>